from Peninsula TV Studios in San Carlos, SBC, the San Mateo Credit Union, Wells Fargo, and Oracle present this year's hottest game show, Bay Area Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to Quiz Kids, the show where the smartest kids in the Bay Area use all their speed, knowledge, and collaboration and get the chance to win incredible prizes. Two great teams are here to play, and over here we've got the Pescadero High School Vikings. Yay! And in this corner we have the South San Francisco Warriors. So let's get started with our play right away as we play the collaboration round. Yay! Welcome teams, and in this first round you will play as a team. I have a series of 10 point questions which I will ask each team. You'll have five seconds to collaborate, and Lewis or Yusong, your captain, will give me the answer you think is correct. If you get the right answer, you score 10 points, and if not, the other team gets to collaborate and possibly steal those points away from you, okay? We'll go back and forth till this uh, buzzer signals the end of the round. Good luck to both teams, and Pescadero, you get the first question. As a homeowner pays off his mortgage, he owns more and more of his house while the bank owns less and less. What term is given to the amount of money already paid back to the bank, often used later to get a second mortgage? Equity? That's correct, equity. Yay! I'm a school teacher, I've never heard of equity, but that's all. Next question. The local government in 2003 created a 500 meter no development line around its Beijing section and prohibited hikers from walking on top of it. Name this landmark some 4,000 miles long. The Great Wall of China. That is right, the Great Wall. Vikings, in an animal cell, what part of the cell's nucleus contains all of the DNA? Chromosomes? Um, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. The nucleolus? No, it's the chromatin. The chromatin. You get the next question, Warriors. What body of water splits the state of Maryland into a western shore and an eastern shore? Hudson River? No, that's incorrect. You can steal. The Chesapeake Bay. In 2003, it gave Russia 1,000 cherry trees to celebrate the 300th birthday of the city of St. Petersburg. Name this country whose gift of 3,000 cherry trees to the United States in 1912 inspired the annual Cherry Blossom Festival in Washington, D.C. France? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Japan. Japan? Yes, it's Japan. <laughs> Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. <laughs> 76 trombones led the... Okay. What Broadway musical contains both the songs Gary, Indiana and 76 trombones? Don't know. The Music Man? The Music Man is right. Maybe it was the way I sung it, you saw. All right. Pescadero, in 2003, scientists created an experimental drug to fight diabetes that is made from the poison secreted by what venomous lizard native to Arizona? Um, the Gila Monster? That's correct, the Gila Monster. Yay! Warriors, what condition that usually accompanies an injury can be treated with first aid by remembering this phrase? If the face is red, you raise the head. If the face is pale, you raise the tail. Yeah. 
poisoning? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Stroke, stroke. Uh, heat stroke? No, when you have an injury, it's often accompanied by shock. And that signals the end of the round. Let's look at the score right now. South City has 20, and Pescadero's in the lead with 30 points. Yay! All right, we'll come back and meet the members of both teams, but we first have to listen to these messages. Welcome back. And in the long boat over here, we see the Vikings. Lewis Golding, you knew about the Music Man. Um, you do you do some acting yourself, don't you? A little bit. Uh, have you done anything in the last few years um, uh, in the community? Not proud of? In eighth grade, I was in a uh, Bye Bye Birdie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which, which play? Is, uh, I was uh, Conrad Birdie. Hey, was, that must uh, have been fun. Yeah, he was nope. like the Elvis character going off to war. Yeah. So you think you might want to pursue this? Maybe a little bit. That'd be fun. I understand that Pescadero is the paradise for mountain bikers, and are you a mountain biker? A little bit. A little bit of that, too. And you love music, mm -hmm. punk rock? Yeah, punk rock. And history, world history. World history. What is it about history that you like? Just the, the facts and how, it, how they show uh, what led up to what and why we have things the way why they are. Why we are the way yeah. we are, sure. Well, good luck to you today. Lauren Markison, welcome. Um, now, you, like Lewis, are a junior, mm -hmm. and you are the school treasurer? No, I'm the class treasurer class for the treasurer junior class. For the junior class, okay. And are you into science? I am. You told me that your goal is to hopefully maybe someday be an aeronautical engineer. How'd you get your fascination with airplanes? I don't know, just when I was littler, always playing with airplanes and building the models. And you flying. make models still out of balsa yeah. wood. Yeah. So they're light enough to fly, actually. Now, what do you do? do you, is this done with string, or do you actually provide motors, or what? How do um, you, well, or do you just so they just glide in the air because they're balsa wood? Some of them have um, motors, usually propellers, or some are just done by a rubber band. Some are just thrown. Great. So you're learning all the facets of engineering right there. Good luck to you with that goal. Thank you. Morgan Gossett Pugh, a horsewoman. You have your own horse. What's his name? Take a double. Take a double. And you do actual show jumping sometimes, I do. do you? How long have you been doing that? About two years. Has it been fun for you? Mm -hmm. Good. You're also into science and English. You like to read, you said. Mm -hmm. What's some of the things you like to read? Science fiction and fantasy. What's one of your favorite authors? Tad Williams. Tad Williams, who writes huge other world books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm sure that will keep you occupied for a while. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Mr. Maynard Robinson. Yeah. And the distant trumpets sound the warriors coming toward me with you song win as their captain. You're a senior? Yes, sir. And a graphic designer? Yeah, in my spare time. In your spare yes. time. Something you might want to do for your full time? Yeah. What kind of stuff? You like to work with computers, yeah. obviously. And what kind of things have you done with computers or graphic design? Um, I spend most of my time like just doing things for fun, for my own enjoyment, for my own knowledge. You said and 14 hours a day on the computer. Just about, yeah. Parents? My mom would say, my mom would say more, but I'll limit it to 14. But yeah, I also go to the Boys and Girls Club, tutor kids there on graphic designing, and also get tutoring from the mentors. Do they ask you why your eyes are so red and you seem so <laughs> white and drawn? Huh, good. You work with the Boys and the boys Club, the girls? Yeah, kids? it's right, it's right across the street from our school. Play games and stuff like that? Or do you uh, work with computers with that? Yeah, we try to limit the games for the little kids. So, yeah. yeah, good for you. Um, Sophia Leong. Hi. Hi, you're a junior. Yes. You've already decided you might be interested in going into business law. Yes. What have you been involved in that has led you to, to that path? Um, well, when I got to South City, they had a mock trial team going on, uh -huh. and I joined that, and that I was a pre-trial attorney, and it got it showed me like how the system works and I was really fascinated with it and plus there was also a future business leaders of America group and that was just teaching us about the economy and like how things run in the business world and, and you combine them yeah. together like a good lawyer would do <laughs> well good luck with that I understand you play the piano for 12 years yes. well, keep playing thank you Patrick Haffey the senior yep into biology and medicine yeah and um, 
What, you think you might want to become a doctor or? A uh, maybe an endocrinologist, oh. hopefully, I don't know. And you spare time, you lift weights. Yeah. Have no idea how heavily, how heavy you can live. Heavy enough. He heavy <laughs> enough. Um, yeah. And you're interested in nutrition. You've gotten right. interested like in all, all that stuff, like nutrition, endocrinology, and like lifting, it all ties in, mm -hmm. like an effect on the body and stuff, so. So you want to make healthier people. That's yeah. a great goal. I want you to make healthier people. <laughs> I want to live a long time. So does your coach, <laughs> Kyle Killeen. Patrick, if you really want to know how to live long and live well, you need to talk to our judge, Mr. Frank Sabote. <laughs> Frank is 163 years old. He looks incredible. And we're going to talk more about that and play some more of Quiz Kids after these messages. I want to say a quick hi to the guys over at uh, Dan Newell Fine Menswear in San Mateo. They keep me looking marvelous. And if you go over there Saturdays at noon, I think they're watching Quiz Kids. Let's play Quiz Kids. Let's play the lightning round. Okay, put your hands on your buzzers because the pace is going to pick up, folks. I have a series of 10-point questions here. The first of you to buzz in gets a chance to answer the question for your team. If you get the right answer, you get 10 points. If you don't, the other team gets to collaborate and possibly steal those points away from you. If you buzz in before I complete the question, I will stop speaking and you will need to answer with the information that I've provided. If you get it wrong, I will complete the question for the other team so they have a chance, okay? Good luck to both teams, it's a close game. First question. In chemistry, what term describes the material left after an evaporation or a distillation? Yes, you song. Condensation. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, you can steal it. We're all looking for residue. Next question. What NFL team's most famous stars included Terry Bradshaw and Franco Harris? Yes, Lewis. Was the Steelers? That's correct, the Steelers. Full Metal Jacket, Dr. Strangelove, and Eyes Wide Shut were all films directed by what creator of 2001 A Space Odyssey? Yes, Lewis. Stanley Kubrick? That's correct, Stanley Kubrick. What son of circus performers succeeded Margaret Thatcher and preceded Tony Blair as Prime Minister of England? Lewis. Barnum? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Some may have wished Mr. Barnum had been the Prime Minister. Don't know? John Major. Evansville, Valparaiso, and Ball State are among the colleges located in what state? We're looking for Indiana. What submarine captain was played by James Mason in the movie 20,000 Leagues Under the... Yes, Lewis. Um, Nemo. Captain Nemo. What percentage of your income goes to rent every month if you make 4,000 per month and your rent is 1,200? Yes, you song. 30%. That is correct, 30%. What great St. Louis Cardinal player was nicknamed Stan the Man? Damn usual. What fictional detective has the help of his friend Sally Kimball to solve cases in the town of Idaville that often involve Bugs Meany? Yes, Lewis. Encyclopedia Brown. Yes, I love him. In what September 1863 Civil War battle did Union General George Thomas get his nickname as the Battle's Rock? Battle of Chickamauga. Its name comes from the Spanish word for girdle. Name this restaurant food that comes in chicken and steak varieties and arrives at your table on a small metal griddle that is, yes, Patrick. Fajita. Fajitas. 2003 marks 10 years since Cuban athlete Javier Sotomayor set a world record of eight feet in what track and field event? Yes, you song. Long jump. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it, so you know what it is? Pole vault. No, it's the high jump. In Norse mythology, 
What group of maidens were sent to battlefields to choose the slain heroes worthy of a place? Yes, Lewis. Or the Valkyries? Yes, the Valkyries, that's right. What state's local school superintendents include Wilfredo Laboy, who as of September 2003 had not passed one of the state's mandatory literacy tests? Patrick. Arkansas. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Any idea? Take a guess. Massachusetts. Jay Follett is on his way home from visiting his sick father when he is killed in an automobile accident at the beginning of what James A.G. novel? Appropriately titled, A Death in the Family. How many inches are there in six feet? You song. 72. That's right. What tennis great announced his retirement in 2003, a year after he beat Andre Agassi to win the U.S. Open? Yes, you song. Pete Sampras. That is correct. His Madonna of the Yardwinder was stolen from a Scottish castle in 2003. Name this artist more famous for his painting of The Last Supper. Lewis. Um, was it Da Vinci? Yes, it's Da Vinci. Dwight Eisenhower called appointing him to the Supreme Court the biggest mistake he ever made. Name this former governor of California who became Chief Justice in 1953. Famous Earl Warren. Its Democratic senators avoided redistricting in 2003 by hiding first in neighboring Oklahoma and then, yes, you saw him. Texas. That's right. Name the team that won the 2003 championship of the Women's United Soccer Association. Washington Freedom. Name the Scottish town over which Pan Am Flight 103 blew up in 1988. The answer is Lockerbie. Bloemfontein is the judicial capital of what country? South Africa. And that signals the end of that mat round. And we show still close. 70 over here for South City and 90 for Pescadero. You've still got a lead. Yay! Well, let's see what happens when the point values double. We'll be right back after these messages. Okay, put the hands back on those buzzers because it's time to play the extreme lightning round. The play's the same, but the point values are doubled, so here we go. The World Figure Skating Hall of Fame is located in what American city that also contains the offices of the U.S. Olympic Committee? Colorado Springs, Colorado. When writing paper on, I'm sorry, when writing music on paper, what is indicated by a small tic-tac-toe sign? Patrick. Flat. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. You don't have to buzz, you can just steal. Sharp? It is, it's a sharp. He was serving as governor of South Carolina in 1948 when he ran for president from the Dixiecrat Party. Name this longtime U.S. Senator who died in 2003 at age 100. Strom Thurmond. What 2003 film starred Damon Wayans and Lisa Kudrow? Yes, Lewis. Nancy X? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. You saw it. It was Marcy X, but it was in the theaters for a minute, so. Give the first and last name shared by a famous magician and by a Dickens title character. Yes, Lewis. Copperfield. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. David Copperfield. David Copperfield, first and last name. There you go. What kind of number is defined as any quotient of two integers where you're not dividing by zero? Yes, you saw Integer. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it. Lewis? Rational number. 
As a native of the Virgin Islands, he sat out the U.S. game against the islands at this year's Tournament of the Americas. Name the star of the NBA San Antonio Spurs. Yes, you song. David Robinson. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Want to give it a shot? Tim Duncan. Its first dancers came from a Moscow orphanage. Name this ballet company whose largest rival in Russia is the Kirov Ballet. We're looking for the Bolshoi Ballet. In April 2003, 10 men escaped from a Yemen prison who had been held for killing 17 American sailors in 2000 by bombing what U.S. ship? USS Cole. According to Thomas Edison, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% what? Yes, Patrick. Perspiration. Perspiration, that's correct. What is 40% of 125? Yes, you song. Um, 35. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it. And that signals the end of the game. What do we show? I think it's a tie, so stay right here. I'm going to ask you one question. The musical instrument known as the Ophiclide was replaced in the 19th century by what large brass instrument similar to a sousaphone? Tuba. Next question. In 1799, what American was called first in war, first in peace, first in the hearts of his countrymen? Yes, Lewis. Jefferson? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it. Washington. Washington. You win the game. <laughs> very, very good. Last minute coming through. We'll see you soon. And we'll see all of you really soon. Come back to Quiz Kids next week. Bye-bye. The wow. following underwriters help to make this program possible. SBC. The San Mateo Credit Union. Wells Fargo and Oracle. Tournament champions will win an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Mr. Friedman's wardrobe provided by Dan Newell, distinctive men's clothing of San Mateo. Additional support provided by these Bay Area newspapers. The Burlingame Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, Nisha's Cafe and Catering of San Carlos, Molly Stone's Markets, Sam Trans, Century Theaters, Jamba Juice, Silver Terrace Nurseries, The Tea Party, Target, AEIS, Ronald Bland, and the San Mateo County Office of Education.